Hello guys, what's up guys? So I hope you, you are cool. Everyone is perfect. So I decided to make this video guys so that I can encourage someone, especially those who are doing accounting. Okay, maybe because I have a high school student, I also have a university student. Let me start by those who are at high school. Okay guys, um, I started accounting like you guys who are doing a commerce subject okay so the first part that I want to talk about is how did I manage to get a distinction in accounting okay the first things is because I love accounting the more you love things guys or the more you love something uh, it's very possible for you to achieve it why because if you love it of course you're going to enjoy it whenever you practice whenever you learn uh, something about it of course you're going to to enjoy so it started from there uh, i used to love accounting a lot the other reason it was because uh, the teacher was teaching me accounting um, and i love him a lot that's encouraged me more to practice more and more uh, accounting it's not like i was a genius or something no i was not a genius i was a time student like everyone so it's very possible for you to get a distinction you still have enough time uh, to start please make sure that you like this video guys and subscribe to this channel if you are interested more on learning accounting because this channel is all about accounting lesson and tutorials okay you can also share with your friends who are in the field of accounting so that they can check other videos that they can learn something in accounting okay let's proceed now this is how I got a distinction. What I did um, is to make sure that I master each and every chapter. I know that some of you, generally most of you, there are certain chapters that you don't like in accounting. For example, you can just enjoy maybe a manufacturing because it's not that difficult and you hate so much a balance sheet. For example or maybe you hit a bank reconciliation statement or any other chapter that you might not like so if you find yourself on that situation of course you are, you are reducing a lot of marks what will happen if for example you hit a cash flow statement and it come with maybe um, 60 marks it's a big loss it's gonna be a big loss for you so never never hate even a single topic make sure that you master everything make sure that you master everything guys so now you are going to write a, a trial so please don't prepare because um now it's time to write make sure that you prepare in time especially now when the the the, the, the school are closed you have enough time to master um, your topics because you are not going to school, most of you, even if you are going to school, those days, uh, what we call it, a holidays or weekend, that's the most powerful days that you can use them to master everything. Okay, so these days uh, is fair enough because if you check on YouTube, uh, all the topics of accounting they are there. All the topics there, not only on my channel, but if you just search any topic that you want to learn in accounting on YouTube channel, you're going to find them. So it's very simple, guys. Yeah, just take whatever that you want to learn and start learning while there is still time. Don't wait for, for test to come because you're going to face a big challenge. You're going to face a big challenge. So let's make sure that we master, guys, because I know that you want to go to university. Some of you, you want to study a BCom, for example. If you want to study a BCom, of course, uh, you have to master your accounting. Because I know that commercial uh, student, they don't like mathematics. Which means that accounting is the one that is going to protect you to get admission. Alternately, it's going to assist you to get a, a bursary, guys, that is going to give you a job at the end. Because you can't just rely only on NSFAS. You also have to try other bazaars that are going to guarantee you a job after completing 
your your studies okay um i'm gonna do another video guys when i'm gonna talk more into details uh, about accounting careers because uh, as a student of course you have to to know what what, what are the options that you have when you are studying accounting some of you you want to be a chartered accountant some of you you want to be auditors and financial accounting and so on and so on there's so many options guys okay? but you need some knowledge uh, that can guide you someone who have uh, some experience uh, about it because not everyone is doing accounting who is going to be a chartered accounting it's not gonna be possible some of you you're gonna do a certain things some of you you still going to be maybe to do a pgc and become a teacher accounting teacher some of you you might be interested in lecturing like me on my side okay i'm gonna talk about that on the other videos what you have to do make sure that you subscribe like this video so that uh, when i upload the video into details how i become a, a lecturer and what what are the steps that you need to do so yeah i think that that's it for for this video guys i just wanted to give someone uh, energy so that uh, you don't lose hope whenever whether you pass you are a term one or you fail your term one you still have chance so in 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 in, in grade 12 if you get a higher marks uh, in a final exam which means that your class mark is not going to be included. I know that you might think that ah, I have a lower class mark, which which is going to discourage um, my, my my marks, or maybe which is going to give me some disadvantage not to get a distinction. No, guys, if you get hundred in final, they are not going to consider what we call it a class mark. They are just going to take that hundred percent. And you got 100 on your statement so it doesn't matter how much you got on term one and term two what is matter is what what's your new plan what, what are you going to do in your final exam so final exam doesn't start on november guys it is start now you have to prepare starting from now so that uh, when you write your final you will be very 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 ready so yeah, guys, let, let's try our best. Uh, I trust a commerce. People who are doing a commerce, guys, you, you, are, you are on the right track. I know that it's very difficult these days to get a job, but if you are studying a commerce, we are talking about business. Business are the ones who are employing people. Most of the people uh, are studying business, which means that we are the first one to get, to, to, to must get a, what? a job. Each and every company or institution, they want uh, someone who's going to control what a finance which means that business uh, doesn't work without what accounting 